YouTube na Twitter at KBC Channel 1 Korobi. Tukianza ni kwa serikali imehimizwa itekeleze utafiti wa kina kuhusiana na vyakula vilivyoimarishwa kisayansi almaarufu GMO ili kuwezesha kuratibiwa kwa kanuni zitakazoongoza kujumuishwa kwa vyakula vya aina hiyo katika mfumo wa chakula nchini. Wanasensi katika taasisi ya tegemeo wanaehimiza serikali kuhakikisha kwamba vyakula vyote vilivyo na chembe chembe za vyakula vilivyoimarishwa kisayansi vinawekwa nembo ili kuhakikisha wateja wanafanya maamuzi yenye busara. Wanasayansi katika taasisi ya tegemeo wanaitaka serikali iandae vikao vya mashauriano kuhusu wasiwasi wa usalama wa afya wanaohusishwa na vyakula vilivyoimarishwa kisayansi kabla ya vyakula vya aina hiyo vinavyoagiza kutoka nje vianze kuuza humu nchini people say that gm causes cancer there is no way in the world that a study has actually shown that to be true and the study that did that they did that by falsifying data it was later discredited unfortunately countries like kenya had already gone ahead and done the ban We need to provide people with the correct information. Atutaki bani liftiwe. We want the effort of the peasant farmers na wakulima wadogo kukua recognized. Tunataka pia wajue hizi mbegu za kienyeji sasa wakulima wadogo tunapanda. It's the only way to curb climate change. Are we happy if Kenyans say that they are happy about this decision and if they were asked in a public participation process I'm sure they will say they are not but if there is a public participation process that is robust enough uh, to come to a conclusion that Kenyans want to consume GMOs then we can only wait to see the impacts later on Taasisi hiyo inataka utafiti wote kuhusiana na vyakula vya GMO fanywe tena na kutumiwa kuratibu kanuni kuhusu vyakula vya aina hiyo Taasisi hiyo inatetea kubuniwa kwa sera itakayohakikisha kwamba vyakula vilivyo na chembe chembe za GMO vinawekwa nembo ili kuhakikisha wateja wanafanya maamuzi yenye busara But now because it's something that it's you know people are a bit scared then we need like standards uh, agreed by KNBS so that if you if somebody has used a GM uh, in raw material in in terms of processing with flour then in that flour they should say that they have used a GM of uh, product and what GM product they have used Co consumers are not only interested in the price of maize flour that is a lie consumers are actually interested in get, eating food that is safe eating food that they accept eating food that is culturally acceptable to them uh, religiously accepted to them you know food that they own hatua hii pamoja na kuwekwa kwa kiwango cha kitaifa cha asilimia ifaayo ya usafi ya vyakula vya GMO ili kudhibiti wagizaji vyakula hivyo inatarajiwa kusaidia pakubwa katika kulainisha bidhaa za GMO katika mfumo wa chakula humu nchini gives you GMO ugali and ugali that is not GMO i am not i don't think there is anyone who will go for the GMO ugali given options what we are seeing here is a situation where we are put in a box where we are not given an option to decide and we are being told this has been decided for you Serikali imehimizwa itafakari mpango wa kupunguza bei ya mbegu za vyakula vya GMO ambazo wakulima wengi wa humo nchini huenda wakashindwa kumudu na hivyo kuweka hatari ya ushindani usio na usawa kutoka kwa nchi zilizostawi. That lifting of the ban is not about us. It's not about our farmers. It's not about the East African community that we are working so hard, you know, to expand and bring other countries on. It's not about us. This is about American farmers and the American market. That introduction of GMOs is going to solve the problem of hunger. Because if that was the case, why is it that countries like South Africa that has gone fully GMO are still facing hunger? So GMO is not the, is not the solution to hunger. The solution to hunger is government increasing investments in food production. Pendekezo la kuanzishwa kwa hifadhi ya mbegu asilia ni muungo mkono ili kulinda vyakula asilia dhidi ya kuangamia wakati mimea ya vyakula vya GMO itakapojumuishwa kwenye mfumo wa chakula nchini. Let us have a discussion on how do we protect and ensure that we do not deteriorate or degrade the, the indigenous varieties. Uh, uh, but if it's economics, if it makes economic sense for farmers, farmers will plant. I don't think there's a farmer today who will plant GMO just to be seen that is planting GMO. They'll only plant it because it makes economic sense.